What do we got? Got something very special here. I have the Olympic torch from the 1984 Summer Games, okay. which I actually ran with the torch. All right, it's pretty cool. So is there a technique for running with a lit torch? Of course there is. You wouldn't hold it under your chin. <laughs> <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to try to sell my 1984 Olympic torch. The least amount that I would take is probably between $3,000 and $3,500. I'd really like to get $5,000. What made you so special you got to run with the torch? Well, interesting enough, my dad got to choose three runners. And of course, being his son, I got nominated as one of the runners. I was 17 years old. It was the most phenomenal thing I've ever done in my life. And I even signed autographs after. <laughs> The Olympic flame has been part of the Olympic Games since ancient Greece. They keep it burning to represent man's control over nature. But running with the torch really didn't start until the 1936 Games in Berlin. OK, so does it take oil or butane? I don't know what kind of fuel it takes. I've never taken it apart. I brought it home, stuck it in the box, and put it up in the closet. It's been there for 28 years. Interesting enough, it actually comes with an owner's manual. OK. Oh, it takes propane. Oh, OK. At least you still have all the paperwork with it. Can I see it? Sure. I mean, it is really well made. It's all brass, leather. Right now, it's killing me that you're even touching it. When people come over, they don't get to touch it. <laughs> they can see it, they can look at my pictures, but they can't touch it. So you have pictures of you running with it? Yeah, I sure do. Yeah, you were a lot younger back then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this thing is pretty amazing. The torch is probably the most iconic symbol of the modern day Olympics. So it definitely make an awesome addition to someone's collection. Why would you want to sell it? My son surfs, and he wants me to get back into surfing with him, so we got to get a couple new boards and wetsuits, and uh, could use the money. OK, I understand. How much did you want for it? $5,000. <laughs> I'm sure it's real. OK, it's just the whole, uh, what are they going for? It's not like you see Olympic torches every day. Do you mind if I call up a buddy of mine to see what this thing is worth? Sure. Have sure. him come down and take a look at it, see what we can do. OK, okay thank you. I'm really excited that they're going to go ahead and bring in an expert to look at my torch, because it is authentic. I did run with it, and I do have all the documentation for the torch. Jeremy, how you doing, buddy? What's going on, Corey? The guys call me down to the pawn shop anytime they have a piece of sports memorabilia that they need some more information on. I have an Olympic torch. Oh, man, that is awesome. Um, may I take a look? Sure. OK, so 1984 Los Angeles Olympic Games. That's correct. Where in the world did you get this? I ran with it. Did you? Yes. In 1984 games in Los Angeles, the United States destroyed the competition. Unfortunately, our success is a little bit lopsided because of the boycott. The 1984 games were going on amidst the Cold War between us and the Soviet Union. In 1980, we boycotted the games in Moscow. And again, in 1984, the Soviet Union returned the favor and boycotted the LA games. In the world of international sports, there's no symbol more profound than an Olympic torch. In 1984, the torch had sold for a donation of around a few thousand dollars. So obviously, there was a lot of these. This particular year, there's 5,000. OK. Previous years, there's as little as two dozen back in 52 in Helsinki. I think there's around 15,000 in Atlanta. So as far as scarcity goes, this kind of falls in the middle of the spectrum. In dealing with sports memorabilia, you don't see Olympic torches come up for sale all too often. Uh, but when they do, they're highly collectible, and there's many people that fight over them. So, Rick, what are your main concerns about the torch? What's it worth? OK. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Olympic torches get as high as half a million dollars. But that's for one limited under 22 production made back in the 50s. With this particular torch being as available as it is in today's economy, they sell very consistently from around $1,200 up to about $1,700. I thought it'd be worth a lot more. All right, thanks, Jeremy. Anytime, Rick. Appreciate it, man. All right, Corey. I know the seller is looking for a little bit more money than what it's worth, but he actually held the torch, and there's a certain degree of sentimental value that you just can't put a price on. So how much do you want for it? 5,000. I'll give you 800 bucks for it. Can't do 800. It's a torch. It's not a metal. There are being 5,000 of them out there. I would go 1,000 bucks on it. 1,500. That's my minimum. I can't do it. A thousand would be it. It's worth more to me than a thousand dollars. So I think I'll hold on to it. And I completely understand. Thanks for bringing it in. Thank Appreciate you. it. We weren't able to make the deal on the torch today, but I think I'm going to put it back up in the closet for another 28 years. 